Welcome back guys to a brand new redstone creation show off video today guys I have another map built by twisty and this is a pretty epic uh, military redstone uh, map and as you guys can see we have a huge runway with a hangar and even a jet and a couple of helipads behind us and it's just very exciting guys there's a lot of cool uh, little creations he put into this map including a training ground and a nuke launch area that all sounds awesome and crazy so let's jump right into it so yeah guys this map was built by twisty like a couple of others i have reviewed and as you guys can see jumping all the way down here we have a pretty long runway with a lot of repeaters i thought there was gonna supposed to be some uh, redstone lamps to kind of uh to kind of blink as the runway lights but i guess not i thought i saw some but yeah guys this jet doesn't have any purpose it is just for decoration just for looks and as you guys can see there is a little pilot but i do have to say guys this jet does look amazing it just looks absolutely crazy i have to say i do like that i do like that build and there's a couple of other jets built into this hangar right over here if we can just fly right over here and this map is a bit bigger than you would think because it is taking a little bit of while to fly but yeah as you guys can see there are the jets all of them are the same they're all the same size which is pretty awesome and then right over here, we have some lights on the ceiling, which do use quite a cool uh, build feature with the little end rods, prism uh, uh, prismarine lamps, and levers to kind of create little light uh, sections on the ceiling. Uh, but that is really just about it. There is no redstone feature over here, guys. These helicopter pads don't have any cool type of redstone function. So we're just going to gloss right over because we are supposed to be looking at the redstone and we're gonna come right over here guys to the command place the command center on the map which is awesome and how we're gonna do this guys is we're supposed to have a redstone torch in our hands we're gonna place it on this block and it is a custom key sensing system where it draws the piston down breaking the torch opening up a secret passageway guys and that is because the staircase we put it back to close it the staircase, which one would think is the actual staircase going up, doesn't actually lead anywhere. You just hit some glass. And it's not like you can break through this glass because it's not regular glass because it's a military, bla uh, military base. It's like blast resistance glass, which is kind of cool. So let's jump right into this base, guys, because it is. I'm just dying to get in there. And we have a really cool lift, which is really, really fast. I mean, look at this thing. In a span of about two seconds when it starts, it's already done. Which I have to say is a pretty fast elevator. So let's stop playing around with it and actually go up to see and to show you guys that it does work. Bam! All done. Look at that. I'm up here. <laughs> uh, so a lot of these little control panels, as you guys can see, are just for looks. But before we start messing around with any of them, guys, you do need to flip this lever right here, which turns the beacon on and off, guys. Which, as you guys can see, cycles through the colors red, green, and white. But once this is on... Now you can start messing around with these uh, these control panels. And this one, these buttons don't do anything, guys. It's this button that brings you back down. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I forgot where the elevator was. And does it bring you back up? It does bring you back. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that is basically about it for the inside of this, except for when you come over here, guys, open and close the combat training area. Which is probably the coolest part, other than the new silo launching system. Now, cool thing about this door, guys, is it is a hipster door. Meaning that all the blocks go down underneath the door, and that there's no redstone in the walls. So I could actually... I'll wait for the door to stop being done. I mean, it is a long door. That is the one thing about it. It is, does take some time. But there's no redstone hidden in the walls, guys. And there's no redstone hidden on this side. It is all underneath I'm kind of afraid to break stuff yeah I'm afraid to break stuff because I might ruin the door <laughs> and I don't want to do that guys at least not on camera and to close it we do have to come back out here guys and press it I don't think there's a close button over here but real quickly as you guys go to the combat training area you have a row of diamond armor with all these buttons next to it guys and that is right all these armors are actually the armor like switcheroo a little redstone creation and you can cycle through three different colors guys diamond iron and gold after the gold 
diamond come back so which this allows you to kind of role play a little bit because this map right here guys is great for role playing a type of military role play if you want to mess around with some friends now of course you guys can always build and add more to it i'm sure twisty would actually love to see you guys downloading it and using it for that purpose maybe add in some of the like little lookout command towers with secret tunnels and stuff uh, but the purpose of adding in so many armor stands is so that you guys can have like the general and the lieutenants and the colonels and the captains and the privates and then the normal the normal people of the military the the normal foot soldiers and that's why there's a lot of them so you can put signs uh, signs above them to distinguish which one is which so that is pretty cool and then coming over here into this mountain guys as you guys can see is the training area and we do need to grab a bow with infinity with an arrow and it's really really cool actually so this door is actually quite something as you guys can see it blocks the lava and stops the lava from progressing now you do have a limited time to go through this door so let's open it up again and we just jump right through and you can walk right over because that block does come up guys and you won't get hurt but do be careful if you take too long coming through guys you will get burnt uh, so this explains it. Beacon lights up when you have uh, killed all of the dummies. So that's something we do have to watch out for, guys. So let's jump right up here. Oh, I think we're supposed to go over. Hold on. Go over. And then this one. Oh, I hit the block. So what happens is you go over it. You go all the way over. And it shoots you right off the ground. And you're in a little glass dome. Now, how you kill all these dummy guys. Let's see if we can do it. This is supposed to hit the buttons. Oh, that's a horrible miss shot. I killed one. Let's see my my training score. I'm missing it. He's alive. He's put the fire back. Oh boy. All right. Don't look, guys. Don't look. I need to stop moving. There we go. I got that one. That's what's messing me up as I move. All right. Bring this guy down a little bit. Bring it down a little bit more. All right. You snipe it. Oh, a little bit over here this way. To the right, yes, he's down. Oh, got that one first try. Oh, a little bit too high. Over this way. Oh, that's right above the lever. No, ah, oh, that's right above it. There you go, sniped him. Hold on, let's check this out. Yeah, guys, it's right above the button. Oh, that's crazy. Hey, right, is there any more? There's none down there. Oh, there's a couple more. We have to kill him. Got him. First try, I think. Let's see if we can get this guy first try. Oh, a little bit higher. Oh, a little bit, a <laughs> little bit lower. Yeah, as you guys see, the bow is not my best. Oh, sniped him. Not my best weapon in Minecraft. I do prefer just to take out a sword and chop them up. I right, sniped that guy. Do you have any more little dummies hiding around in the map? I don't think so. I think that's it. Oh, well, no, those, the, the arrows despawned. That's why I was about to say, what? Oh, wait, no, because they're despawning, guys, the beacon isn't turning on. Okay, hold on. Excuse me, sir. You need to go. You need to go. You need to go. Where is he? He's up here. That guy needs to go. No. I, I want to I see the beacon turn on. There we go, yes! <laughs> Yeah, guys, look at all the fireworks. Oh, it is a bit laggy, so do be careful. Alright, and it turns off, I think, when all of, all of the the guys, or all of the dummies come back alive. So we can come up here and celebrate with a little beacon, guys. Do a little victory dance while you're up here. See the world. So I apologize for my uh, how I did in the combat training area, guys. But now we're going to be moving on to something much more exciting, which is the nuke silo system. And we do have a two-step security process, guys. And the first one being a nine-digit combination lock. And, of course, it gives you the combination, but you don't have to put it here, guys. You can just have one person memorize it, who is the general, and just have him be the person who opens it up. But it's two, three, five, seven, nine. And as soon as you're done, guys, the door comes down. Ooh, what are these for? I think that's just for the slime blocks. I was about to say, if those fired, like, arrows at you, that would be crazy. Uh, but this next one, guys, you need all the arrows, uh, arrows, I mean, pointing at the sign. And, of course, you don't have to have that posted. But as soon as you guys see the light turn on, the little slime blocks drop down, and you are in the nuke launch area. So, real quick, guys, before we launch them out, what is this? I 
I don't know what that does. <laughs> We're just going to ignore that. I'll check that out in a second, guys. But these are the new silo systems. Uh, once you punch in, or once you punch in the, the launch code, guys, these doors will open up and the nukes will fly out. And it's a pretty cool uh, sight to see. Okay, we, we need a button to get back in. There we go. And that he gives you, once again, the passcode. You just have to take one of these guys. And it has to be something that's named with that name because it'll only take it because it's one of those cool item filters. But any second now, we should see the nukes rise in. Oh, there we go. There we go, guys. We're actually going to come out to enjoy this. Look at them. They're going. Run. Hi. It would be really cool if you added an alarm, maybe some blinking lights. But when it comes up here, guys, this redstone is supposed to activate this TNT, which will then explode. It's not a lot of TNT, which is kind of sad because it's supposed to be a nuke. But that is okay. And we're about to see it happen. Oh, there it goes. Bye-bye, nuke. Oof. That is still pretty devastating, guys. If it had uh, much more TNT, it probably could have done damage. To the base down here well let's check out these little nuke silo systems oh how did it start can we find out was it one of these blocks hmm oh it must have been right up here yeah it must have been one of these blocks right along see that opened it up but what activated the flying machine unless the flying machine was like right up here and not all the way down here like i, I think it would be uh, but once again, that is a very cool redstone build, guys. I have to say, with uh, the slime blocks, these new missiles or flying machines that are being created are my favorite redstone creations so far that have come from Minecraft, guys. Comment yours down below so we can see, guys. If you like the video, smash that like button. If you didn't, tell me what I did wrong, guys. Dislike the video. It is okay. I can take some criticism. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.